Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. We are in the diner, and this is pretty much where I left off last time. We have a bunch of stuff, and we've just done a flashback of the clown. We can't go that way apparently, there's nothing else to see. Can we talk to you? We can't talk to Dave. Can we take a hot dog? Can we have a hot dog? I would like a hot dog, please. Oh, she's actually <laughs> eating it, okay. I can't do anything. She's just eating it. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. Okay. <gasps> oh. Well, that <gasps> happened. I feel better now. Good. I'm glad about that. Okay. So we just, we just, we just hurled our insides. Outside. I'll tell you what, you go down B Street. Main Street, B Street, dumpster. So around the back of the. What is it? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Nice. Uh. Pet Emporium. Cakes. Oh, this is open. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, those are not. Hey cake. there! Whoa! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Okay. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false bit. advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Yeah. Uh, no duh. <laughs> yeah. What an exciting life you exciting. lead. Exciting. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little she store. Sounds very cheerful. What can I do for you, hun? Yeah, what's your, since what's your you don't store called since you anymore. don't? What's your store called hmm. now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> you chew? <laughs> hmm. Tube Town. Why not? Tube Town. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Yeah, no longer. No. Oh, speck of dust? What? What? Okay, now I can't find that speck of dust, wherever that was. Like here? Huh? Huh? Ah! There. Pick up speck of dust. I have a speck of dust. Yes. It's my speck of dust. I don't know if there was a reason for me to do that, but I have a speck of dust. It's all good. All right, let's, uh, phone book. Ooh, yes. This, I want this. Oh, that's a lot of names. Um, wait, I have, are you, seriously? Oh, there's so many people. <gasps> Can I call Dr. Fred? Fred Stober. 4772. Yes. Oh, screw that. I have a phone. It's a cell. Yes. 4772. Hi. This is the voice box of Dr. Fred Stober. Please speak <laughs> after the beep. Unless you are again one of those people who want to speak with Dr. Fried Edison, in that case you should really take another look at your phone book. I'm not sure if it was Stober or Edison actually. Hmm. Stober. Alright. Ah, see, Edison, it doesn't, like, have it like that. It doesn't even have Edna either, so that I can't get around it by putting in Edna's number. And I can't remember, I don't think I ever found out what Edna's number was in Mani Maniac Mansion. I can't remember if I did that, so. I wouldn't be able to, uh, ooh, arcade. The doors yes. are locked, oh. and nobody's inside. Oh, that's a no. Fed's out now. Huh. Is this how I arrived? Oh, hello. Lady of the Evening. Hmm. Tuna. It says it's he a tuna head. eats... Tuna. 
Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Discuss. Ma I'm afraid you. I don't Ready? have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed okay. Pillowtronics Edmund family, Edmund. and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Wait, wasn't it Chuck so Edmund who died? So I you treat me with a little more respect. So how is Chuck related to you? Uh -huh. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Dude. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. It is for the good town. of the town. Tell me. Tell, Tell me, lady. what you know. Actually, no, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is <sighs> at stake. Trust fund Barbie. <laughs> Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Oh, I Fine, love it. it was my sister Dolores. Oh, well, that was she easy. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... <gasps> a pirate. <laughs> pirate. I've got to say pirate. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became a video game developer. It all started a few years back. Oh, more flashback times. She only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company. What awful game company? Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something oh. else for her, but no. Okay, so Chuck's their uncle. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. Oh, this... I've got to get out of this town. This Uncle Chuck game. wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, hmm. I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Yes. Well, before you do, wait. Oh, wow. Find the ideal job, check the mailbox, escape from Thimbleweed Park. Uh, Printron, trophy, action figures, red gel decoder, thimbleberry Ricky pie. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. Hmm. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. Okay, love. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Can I take that? I can take that. Alright, I'm gonna start taking stuff. I was gonna leave everything, but I'm gonna just take everything. These are in mint condition! No okay. way I'm going to touch them. Graphics basic, can I take that? Pick up poster. I'm not going to take the poster. I don't think I'm going to need the poster. More action figures, more books. This is my complete set of Nancy Drew mysteries. I'm Posters. kind of a fan, I guess. Nah. Okay. Whoa. That, that transition confused me. Um, what? Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Oh, excuse me. What? What even is this? That was a cow. <laughs> okay, let's let's just like, just just yeah. Ne never mind. Um. Oh, index trunk. Okay, stick. <gasps> Please tell me this says out of order. It says out of order. Amazing. This this is basically the library from Maniac Mansion. Oh, we don't want to use the phone book. This is the same. I'm even on the same page I was on. Right, we'll go back to A. And we'll uh, chuck the plant. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Yeah. More references. Okay. What's in here? Ah. Microwave, cupboard, open refrigerator, broken bottles of ketchup. It this is Maniac Mansion. I can't cope. Oh, old batteries, poopsie. Because in the Maniac Mansion it was Pepsi, cheese, lettuce, and oh. if it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Do they have a pool? Do they have radioactive water in the pool outside? <laughs> uh. 
I'm enjoying this way too much. The fireplace. fireplace looks very clean. A bit too clean. Which is worrying. The clock. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more high. Oh, I missed that. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother than a certain. Ooh. I'd have to pick. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. Can I pick it up? Again, that's another reference, Hi isn't there, it? Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Nope. Yes, yeah, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? Package? I have your special magazine. Yay! Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. Is there anything in here? No. Right, let's it's have a look. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Okay. Uh, qualified applicants. Complete and mail this comprehensive programming test, and you could be on your way. Right. Okay, can I can I examine this? Why is it use your computer to connect with Mucus? Right. She wow. had a computer in her An room. An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game so. company. I hear they make movies too. This could. I need to stop cutting her off. Although to be fair, um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. I've gone the wrong way. Wait, did I see? Oh, interesting. That might come in handy. I'm gonna bear that in mind. Right, up here. Up here somewhere. Do I have to remember which door was your door? Was it this one? Or was it, no, it was this one. I think. Yeah. Right, use computer. A standing desk? Is it a standing desk? She doesn't even have a I'm chair. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. Modem number. Ah, oh. It's connecting. Is it like dial up? <laughs> I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome yep. to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Mm -hmm. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application mm -hmm. and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Dolores Annie Edmund? I'm gonna guess. Thank you. What is your address? I don't know. I don't know. What state am I in? I guess technically that's the one that's the most grammatically connect, connect? correct. So we'll Noted. go for that one. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in? Uh, all of them. Very ambitious. Sure. We like that. Please answer the following cool. questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. Right. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay. First question. How many room local variables are there? Room local variables. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. Yeah. Is there a book in the library to do with mucus? Mucus phlegm? We'll have to see. Wait, was that the doorbell? I'm gonna double check that. That was the doorbell! Alright, come in. Chill out. Hi again, George. So it's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but... I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. Well, the mailbox is right outside. workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Is this where Uncle Chuck is hiding? Oh, no, that was the kitchen. So where... I wonder, is Uncle Chuck's... Can we go this way? No. He's in one of the rad magic rooms upstairs, I guess. Okay, well, enough about that. Let's let's go and uh, play in the library and see if we can find a book. Okay, so this is apparently about a robot that is in the pillow factory. Interesting. 
Not sure what to do with this, Wait, but it might it? come in handy. Oh, we kept it. All right. I like that. That, um, what it said there, most of the books in the library were written by backers. Am I going to need that one? Because I know how to translate that, apparently. But yeah, I think that's really interesting that, like, you could have backed this, because this was backed on Kickstarter, and you could have, like, backed it and written a book. That's nice. That's really nice. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 hmm. library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. I wonder if I can use this thing to um, find something. How do I? Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. Uh -huh. It's in section 3.1. That makes things quicker. 3.1. Two point something, one point something. Wait, so three point one is—is is that going to be up there? Is that going to be where I can't reach it? Totally is, isn't it? Two point eight. Yeah, it's going to be up here, and I can't, I can't, I can't get up there if it's out of order. Huh? The sign says it's out of order. Can I take the sign? No one will miss this out of order sign. I can take the sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Yeah. I haven't been up here for a long time. Legend. I can do things. I am clever. Oh, good lord. Uh, this is kind of creepy. 3.5. 3.2, 3 3.1. You're recording the toilet computer. Where are you? There it is. Okay. 256. Eight parameters. Can I take this with me? Yes, I took it with me. Okay. Good. While I'm up here, I'm just gonna run to the other end past this and see if there was... Nope, nothing. I find it interesting that she's not been up here in a long time, which, yeah, fair enough. The, uh... <laughs> there was, um, an out-of-order sign on it. But, um... I find it interesting she's not been up there in a long time when she's a programmer, and therefore you would think she would be using those books every so often. First question. How many room local variables are there? Uh, that one. Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? I don't know. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to study the mucus flum... Da, 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 da. MFL files and XOR encryption. Is there anything else that looks eight actors, character sets, eight pixels? The eight is in this quite a few times. So I guess if I'm unsure, eight is probably a good guess. With so many oh, it's going to make me keep answering the same there. questions over and over. Okay. Next question. That's what type five. of files are compiled scripts packed into? I can deal with that. Was it MFL? I think it was MFL. Next question. What do mucus source level debuggers run on? I can't remember. Next question. I guess. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... Oh, I saw that one. An unbreakable Zor. Thank yeah. you for taking the mucus phlegm Take programming right. test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm Sweet. programming test. Even though I guessed Yay! that second to last one. I answered all the mucus questions correctly. Okay. I'm ready to print out the application. Right. Oh, it's, it's just, it's, it's away. It's doing, it's doing its thing. Did it? Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Of course Maybe it is. the printer is out of ink. Ink. We want ink now. So we're going to try every one of these doors to see if any of these doors takes me into anywhere new. No pinching. Okay. That Pretty one did take dark me in new. here. Oh, it did. That one did take me somewhere Ouch. new. Ouch! No pinching. All right. Oh, I can go this way. There's a window. That wasn't quite as exciting as I thought. I'm just trying to, you know, help. Oh. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. Sounds like they and are. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, you know. plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toy tronics. I think we I'm seeing a pattern pillows. here. 
What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? Make teddies okay, that turn Chuck, into pillows. Right, but um, I was up all night working on oh, the business plan. Bless him. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, have a look. Look at it. Yeah. No, Dude. no, no! It's a pillow factory! Hi. Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're Her. brothers. Take a chill pill. She's pulling you her hair. started the pillow factory <laughs> together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? No. Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. Yeah, sure. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You Ooh, know, zinc. Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. Yeah. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. No. Okay, so empty ink, for goodness sake. <sighs> we'll pick it up anyway. It's got to be useful, right? Uh, check register. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. Oh, God. oh, wait, 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 wait. Should I give the letter to Uncle Chuck? Uncle Chuck, I have something yeah. for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. You're nice and calm. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Really? So he got all excited and then just didn't deal with it. <laughs> well, I need that, so I'm going to keep hold of it. Screw you. Why ah, do I let him talk to me like that? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I liked, liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's no. never even read it. Mm, no. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. Aww. I'm worthless. Aww. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. That's sad. You need more confidence. Yeah. And stop letting Uncle We're Chuck We're gonna take a time out around. to give um, Daddy Thanks, Dolores, Franklin a pep a great talk. <laughs> but Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Does he though? Hi, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, I mean, come Dolores. On. Who doesn't want like a teddy bear that's um made into a pillow and you fold it the right way it's an empty it? bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink i see homemade. some black powder around the edges and it smells awful warning contents highly flammable black powder there's nothing inside wait there's a glass inside you lied ha <laughs> okay uh use glass with faucet if it's gonna let me. The glass is now filled with water. Open microwave. It's a glass filled with water. I know it's a glass filled with water. Put that in the microwave. Uh, put that in the microwave. And close the microwave. I'd have to pick it up first. Nope, close the microwave, not the letter. All right, use microwave. Yes? No? Okay. It's a letter this... to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. Right. Okay. I'm aware of the stuff. Yes! Look at the letter. Ah. It's ransom! Shouting. Wait, I'll read that for you guys in case you're too lazy. Hey Chucky baby, what the beep is holding up the toy license contract? Your brother Franklin said this was a done deal, so I thought I'd write to the big guy himself and get this thing moving forward. My beeping comeback is going to be beeping huge, making ransom dolls will be like printing beeping money beep off ransom. This it's... isn't a water-based ink. Not with that smell. Okay. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. Right, so it's an oil-based ink. So would oil work? Gasoline! Ha! Yes! The ink bottle is now mostly full with gas. Does that work? It's a bottle for printer ribbon ink with chainsaw gas in it. I don't think that should work, you know. Um, I might need some black powder to go with that. 
Uh, print ribbons. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new I doubt printer it, ribbons? But, you know. you no, know I don't buy new ribbons. I just re ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. Okay. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Sure you Just did. get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. What is that? Hello, my favorite niece. What's a polycy... What? How do I make printer ink? Printer ink is a scam. Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash, ash. and gasoline and mix well. Of course. That makes sense. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. But I still don't have ash because the fireplace is clean. But I'm I'm getting closer. Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those mucus phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary uh -huh. desk just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Very nice. Um I haven't finished picking stuff up. Hot sauce! I didn't see that before. Hot sauce. Does hot sauce count as acid? <laughs> um, hmm. What if I use the hot sauce? I'm not going to drink from something without reading the label. Fine. Flask of extreme chili sauce by Brian H. J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe uh -huh. I should be careful with this. Breathe fire. Alright, so what do I want to burn down? Is there anything outside? Okay, clock isn't flammable. Still Keep impressive. trying. Aha! There's a wood pile outside. Let's let's just burn that to pieces, shall we? Huh. Did I miss? Still impressive. Okay, apparently I have to take the wood. Maybe if we put the wood in the fireplace and then we incinerate it. Let's see if that works. Da, 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 da. This is looking promising. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now I have to put the fire out. Can I pick up the glass yet? Um. No, not I don't the want to pick that up. Open microwave. Pick up glass of water. Use glass of water on fire. Take ash. Oh. Never mind. It burned out. Combine the ink bottle with the. The suit. ink bottle is now full of black ink. There we go. I am a legend. I know how things work. Da 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 da. All right. Let's see. Use the ink on the print. Right. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Right now, do I do I use the computer again to Yay! reprint it? I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print <sighs> out the application. There we go. I was gonna say did I have to put the paper back in, or was it gonna like? I always just do like it? to watch this part. Oh, it like. Okay, it's just it's just gonna put no, everything. I just on. need to stamp the envelope. Right. Okay. Uh, pick up envelope. Use that with stamp. My letter to Mucus Flam is now stamped yeah. and ready to mail. Okay, time to mail that letter. Yo. Put it in the mail tron. How exciting! <laughs> I hope I get the job. Is this everything now? I think this is everything. <laughs> five days later, at around 5 p.m. Exactly five days later. Wow. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. I just oh. didn't move. Good luck. I didn't See ya. have a shower. I didn't eat. I just stayed there and waited for five days. I think I want to open this in my room, just in case okay. it's really bad news. That's fine. You you do that. Okay. Open. No. Open. Let her. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, oh. Dolores. You can do it. What? Do I just have to keep telling myself okay, that? Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. 
open okay, the letter. If it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Open the letter. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. You better. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. Wait. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Okay. We're just, we're just gonna, okay. She's just... I can stop her from doing this, but this is just so funny. Okay, there we go. She's repeating herself now. Hey, Uncle Chuck. I got news for you. I've got a letter saying Hello, I'm leaving. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh, yeah. We'll, you we'll, should be we'll nicer discuss to my the father. father first. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But yes. he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. How can anyone hmm. be passionate and visionary about pillows? Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! <sighs> yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillowtronics? I, uh... <laughs> here, read this. You're what? You're oh, giving up the opportunity happy. to run Pillowtronics to be a... to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're Dude. giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dude. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Hmm. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Okay then. Talk to Dolores, talk to Ransom the Clown. Right. Okay. Wait, is there anything else up here that I can do, or is that it? There is a trash if can. If I look at, you mean smell? I've already done that. It's fair. Walk to town outskirts. There's no path okay. beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. Unfinished temp art. Loving the references. Oh! She changed the name to Tube Town! Nice! Didn't take her long. Oh, okay. Hey there! Yeah, Just go over to the yeah. counter where we can I want to have this conversation. Well, hi! Welcome to Ricky's Tube Town! Yeah. Yes. That's all for oh, now. That's not Don't what I meant to do! That's town. not what I meant to click! Okay, hi. Bad! Okay, let's try again. Update I see sign. you updated your sign. Oh, yeah. I was just super grateful you feds came and helped me out with that. I really wish I was really YouTube stuck on now. picking a name. <laughs> you city folk sure are slick with your wordplay and your machine washable suits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did you how get it did painted you get so the quick? sign painted that was so pretty, fast? Sp pretty smooth I just going. called them Pigeon Brother Sisters. What? I thought they were plumbers. Oh, no. They do all sorts of jobs like painting, electrical, paranormal investigations. You know, that kind of thing. We're gonna go talk to ghosts That's sometime That's all soon. for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Yeah, okay. I just want to quickly go to the outskirts before we finish the episode up and see if there's anything interesting out there. And then, um, that might be it for the, uh, episode. Ring, ring. Oh, someone's ringing the sheriff. I never did find out what the sheriff said. Hello, Reno. Nobody yes, sir. Else. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, okay. sir. Interesting. So we are, um... 
There's a bathroom. Quickie pal. Ooh, sewer grate. And what's out here? Vista. Alright, we'll have a look in here. We'll have a look in the bathroom. Movie Tron. Um. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Maybe. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. He has a How plant. Can I help you? He has a man eating I'm plant. Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> no. Is that a sleeping rat? Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Yes, any Actually, suspiciousness? now you mention it, I did see something this is suspicious be another flashback. a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie, Willie the, the town, town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Yeah, why did Willie seem suspicious? Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, Normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money But for the first time in forever bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat off. stack of dead presidents I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet Okay, could the wallet you saw have belonged maybe he wasn't to paid Willie. off. Maybe he stole the wallet. Oh, <laughs> no way that wallet was his I figured he got I can't remember how much it. was in that guy's whoa, wallet. Whoa, 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 but come to think of it Pretty sure the wallet stains. had some so weird we need red to find stains on Willie because he has the, time, the dudes. I thought it was um, the cherry mouthwash he drinks. Wallet. But it could have been blood. Okay. Wait, was that the rat hiccuping? <sighs> um. What? Trash can, light switch, bush. Light switch, please don't be something. I was gonna say don't be something creepy and <gasps> Edna <laughs> 3444. Ah yes, another maniac mansion reference. Uh big tube. I want this. Please let me pick this up. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck to the toilet tron. I forgot about that being another tron. Okay. Can I pick up the toilet paper? I totally can. Oh yeah, my speck of dust. I forgot about that. All right, I'm not wait. <laughs> I look good. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it foggy? Does it need like cleaning? But no. All right, we'll quickly go and look up at the vista, and then we will end this episode. I'm not gonna go down the sewer grate. I imagine that that's uh, not necessarily gonna be a good move. Ah, the carnival. Is that another speck of dust? There's more of them. I have two specks of dust. Great. Does this lead to the carnival? Like, is that how I walk to county? Ah, <sighs> this game is way bigger than I expected it to be. But we've been recording for like an hour now, so I'm gonna leave out in there. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give that like button some love. This has been Thimbleweed Park, and I'll be back with more of it very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye. Yeah. I keep watching them cross that line, expecting it to shower at me. Uh, you're lucky if I let you in.